and I've seen it time and again in pitches where I've had 30 angel investors sitting around a table and the entrepreneur is doing a pitch and two of the, I would say smarter, or two of the more tech savvy investors just go onto Google and find competitors they haven't disclosed or potential competitors. When you ask them questions on, okay, tell me about your financial model, you know, what is your current burn rate on a monthly basis? A lot of startups, at least stuff that I've talked to recently, do not understand what a burn rate is in the first place. What else uh, in, in those investment calls or investment meetings uh, kind of, well, what were some, maybe some red flags that you saw this week uh, or in the last couple of weeks where uh, you were interested and then one thing happened and it just scared you away? Uh, for me, it's the lack of competitive awareness. And I've seen it time and again in pitches where I've had 30 angel investors sitting around a table and the entrepreneur is doing a pitch and two of the, I would say smarter, or two of the more tech savvy investors just go onto Google and find competitors they haven't disclosed or potential competitors. And that for me is um, it's just a huge embarrassment rather than being very upfront with the competitors and then being absolutely clear why they are different and why they're so much better and how they're going to beat the competition. Yeah, I definitely agree with Colin that because, you know, very often a lot of startups when we talk to actually try to gloat themselves on how, you know, how good their product is, how good their team is. But when you ask about competitors, they would say, oh, there's no competition. And I've heard so many startups that you tell me this, that you know, they have no competitors in the space. And, you know, when I do a bit of like market research and, you know, even a couple of like searches on Google, you'll see so many competitors up against a particular startup. So being upfront and admit you know, there is competition, but we are better at this and we have defensibility here is a good thing to admit. Um, some of the other elements that we've seen uh, from star pitches very often, I want the startup to understand their numbers. So when I say numbers, what I mean is financial numbers. So what is their revenues? What is their net burn? Uh, what is their customer acquisition costs? Very often startups do really well when it comes to the business plan and the product development. But when you ask them questions on, okay, tell me about your financial model, you know, what is your current burn rate on a monthly basis? A lot of startups, at least startups that I've talked to recently, do not understand what a burn rate is in the first place. So again, I do understand sometimes, you know, you could have a very technical CEO and their mindset is always about product. But when you're talking with a VC, you need to understand from that point of view where they'll always look at a financial model as well. So understanding a couple of the key metrics is always important. And another good advice Maybe. could be to think about energy sure. management. Uh, like uh, especially in Zoom calls, it's it's sometimes really hard to to show all your dynamism and and your passion for a topic. So so I think uh, some investors said before that uh, that your first two minutes earn you the right to get attention for the next ten minutes, and those ten minutes give you the right for the rest of the discussion. So so I've, I've unfortunately met some some founders. Who I think were great, but they, they were, couldn't shine as, as as they should, because they just just scheduled too many calls back to back. They didn't bring the A game. They didn't didn't seem rested. They seemed a little bit chased and kind of kind of low energy. And and while everybody has those those uh, Zoom calls, uh, I, I think just looking out for yourself, maybe taking one call, two calls less a day, and 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 trying to trying to get your mind and energy level right ahead of every call if possible. That's that that should maybe be tried.